Hi everyone, welcome to Soul Rice Gaming and today I'm doing an uh, update to the ultimate deck guide that I released a few days ago just because there was a couple of feedback and suggestions from other people and a couple of things I missed out so whenever I do these videos I want to make sure they get at the complete best I, poss I can possibly do at the time with all the correct information and all the knowledge that you guys can use and before I begin I just want to say a huge thank you to Limanama, Taco and Boulder for all their feedback help and support as one for those guys in the Tapsuit Titan 2 communities then this kind of guides and videos wouldn't happen and i'll put the links to the online guides so you can have a look whenever they're updated and also to taco's patreon as well to so give him love and support and to boulder's discord server for his private clan so again follow those guys and give them some love and support there's six main points to a great deck build i've done a previous video explaining about the clan raid guides i still got questions get asked questions about which best deck to use when to use them so this video is mainly about explaining what cards to use and when i will put a link to the clan raid video above so have a look at that first because it gives you full explanation about clan raids so watch that before you watch this if you're not too sure what i'm talking about now first we need to understand what the main factors for a good clan deck are now there's six main points to determine this that's type of titan so if it's an armor body or skeleton the titan's current health at the time the type of cards that you have the level of cards the card swiping attack pattern and the name of the titan these six factors determine whether you have a high chance of dealing massive damage on the titan lawn now Titan Lord parts, each Titan Lord in Clan Raid has eight different body parts, the head, torso, left shoulder, right shoulder, left hand, right hand, left leg and right leg. Each part has its own health and certain cards will have more of an effect on the body, so read description of each card to see which is the best suited for the job. Titan Lords and which parts to aim for. Now each ray Titan has different health body armor multipliers, which is why some Titans have more health in the torso, arms, legs and head. And there are currently six different Titan Lords. There's Lojack, Tekdar, Juk, Stel, Mucker and Taro. The following pages will show you which body parts you should be hitting and which to avoid. With this information you can save yourself potential wastage of damage. So low jack regions pretty much hit everywhere apart from the arm part, the left arm. Take Dar, again all parts you can go nuts on him, it doesn't matter about avoiding any. For a Juk, you want to avoid the left hand, but all parts are game. For Mocha, it's mainly all parts, but avoid the torso. The Taro is a bit more specific. It's mainly the head, torso, and left leg. Avoid the arms and right leg. Stell, this is for both his head, torso, and both legs. Just avoid the arms if you can. Tier 1 deck guide, so this beginning section is tier 1 stages, so assuming your card levels are level 1 or around the low levels, tier 1 stages you can only get body or skeleton based titan lords. When you use the practice function in your card decks options, you can only fight body type titan lords and you can only get armor titan lords from stage tier and above. So the best decks to use while fighting tier 1 titan lords only, deck 1 is a fused deck, so that uses fusion bomb, inspiration force decay and strike and that should be used when the titan lords at full health on all body parts and attack pattern should be a mild loop as shown in the picture and deck air 1a so this is a different variant of this is a fused deck again fusion bomb inspiration force but then you can swap it for either blazing inferno or thriving plague and this is for when when the titan lord is not at full health so it's the same as before attack all body parts shown in the diagram to the right now deck two is a whip deck and that's a whip of lightning blazing inferno and inspirational force and that's that titan lord at full health so you hit all body parts attack pattern will be a mild loop so shown as the pitch on the right there and deck three is focus head only and you can use skull bash grim shadow and crushing instincts and that's when titan lords at full health and you focus on the head and that just be a, t a little circle on one part that's the head Deck four is purifying decks. So that's the purifying blast, acid drench, 
inspiration force and that's a titan at full health and you focus on two parts so the attack pattern is curved over the two parts so you just you can use the arm shoulder or hand and just swipe up and down or you can use for example the leg and hand as long as it's just two parts is shown on the picture and the different variant of that so deck 4a would be purifying blast acid drench and crushing instincts and that's titan lord at full health and that's just to focus on the head only and again the attack pattern for that one is a small circle Deck five could be Moon Deck, which is Moonbeam, Soul Fire, and Razor Wind. And that's Titan Lord at full health and should be focused torso. And attack pattern is a small circle on the torso, so that's just for the chest. And deck six is Barrage Attack, it's a can ship barrage. Deck six is Barrage Deck, so it's Clan Ship Barrage, Ancestral Favor, Razor Wind, and that's when Titan Lord's at full health and attacks all body parts. So attack pattern is a loop as shown in the picture to the right. So summary, this is for deck setup for tier one only Titan Lords. So remember this is body Titan Lords only. You've got six slots available. So you can have them set up as this. So slot one could be all body part tack in. So slot one could be for all body parts. So you can use um, those cards there, or you can swap out the last one, the decaying one for say the Blazing Inferno or the other one if you want to do um, if the Titan Lords at half health or lower health. Or in slot two is all body parts and that's whip one so you just go nuts on that one and slot three could be focus head only and then you can use slot four to just attack two parts so if the head or the torso is already being attacked then this will be quite a good variant to attack the other body parts and then slot five is focus chest only and slot six again is all body parts so you can go nuts on that as well and just look at the remember to use the bottom cards to swap them out if you want to focus on the head or if the titan lords at lower health then swap these in and out accordingly Tier 2 Deck Guide, Armour Guide Titans. The first layer is armour which only exists on Tier 2 Titan Lords. Armour has its own health and must be broken through to get to the next layer, the body. Always refer to your clan raid strategy before using a deck. Head tends to die first, so a lot of clans don't start with the head attacks as it renders the other decks useless. Most clans won't allow body attacks until the armor is broken, so just bear that in mind. So the first deck could be a fuse deck, and that could be a fusion bomb, prismatic riff, and decay and strike, and you use that when a titan lords at full health, and you smash all the body parts on a mild attack pattern like shown on the right there deck 1a so this is a different variant is another fuse deck but the difference with the fuse bomb decay and strike is that you swap out the last card or blazing inferno or thriving plague and that's when it's not a full health and the same attack pattern is all body parts with a mild loop pattern there Deck 2 is a whip deck, so whip of lightning, blaze in inferno, and prismatic rift. And that's Titan Lord at full health, and you want to be smashing all the body parts as shown with that attack pattern. Deck 3 is focus on the head only, and that's using skull bash, grim shadow, and crushing instincts. And that's a Titan Lord at full health, and you're focused on the head doing a small circle attack pattern. Deck four is purifying deck. So you'll be using purifying blast. So you'll be using purifying blast, acid drench, prismatic rift, and that's a Titan Lord of full health, focusing on two body parts on a curved attack pattern, or just up and down on those two body parts as shown on the picture. Now another variant of that is exactly the same using purifying blast, acid drench, but then you swap out the last one for crushing instinct if you want to focus on the head only and that'll be just in a small circle just on the head to focus on that part. Deck five is a moon deck so that's your moonbeam, your soul fire, your fragment eyes and that's Titan Lord of full health focusing on the torso so that would just be a small attack pattern and finally deck six barrage deck so it's clownship barrage ancestral favor and fragment eyes and that's Titan full health all body parts with a attack pattern as a mild loop there. So just a summary, this is it could be a, your ideal six slot setup for your tier two Titan Lords. So slot one could be all your body parts using the fusion deck, but swap out the last card for the a blazing or the plague if it's Titan Lords have got lower health. And slot two could be a whip deck for all body parts. You can go nuts on that. And slot three could be focus head only on those cards. And slot four could be your focus on two parts. It could be your legs or your or your hands or shoulders and 
and, le and hands and slot five could be focused torso and then slot six could be those cards for your all body parts you can just nuts on that and remember again to swap out the blow as mentioned below swap out the cards needed if you want to focus on head or if the titan lord's got lower health and swap out the cards accordingly now the raid strategies so these are tips and strategies to make the most efficient way to defeat a titan lord so create great groups that level only in specific cards typically will be done to spit up people living head torso cards and armor body cards but having your team specialized can give good results this can involve some coordination when people can hit especially if you require an armor team to hit before a body team can begin spread out damage if you if several people all attack the same part at the same time and destroy it all at once then the overall damage to the part is wasted using decks focused around targeting several parts can help spread out your damage and prevent wastage this also prevents situations where the head or torso is destroyed and your clan has a lot of players who have loaded up those cards leaving the rest of the titan lord still alive and well focus specific parts this strategy revolves around maximizing victory march targeting specific parts and bursting through them as soon as possible helps expose the skeleton which can then give a large bonus to damage when using victory march this strategy works very well for titans that don't have much health in their arms since the four parts can break easily and allow everyone else to finish off the head torso and leg now, a couple of other little tips you can use keep an eye on your stacks and maintain them during attack run so if you're doing or body attacks make sure you keep an eye on the stacks that are kept high because if they drop so does your damage airplane mode if you turn on airplane on your phone so you have no internet connection or no data connection if the attack is bad just close down the game the attack only gets saved when it connects to the server so you have an airplane mode on and you have a bad run don't worry about it just restart and try again don't do body attacks until the all armor is broken in the tier 2 titan lords and yes i spelled armor wrong you can criticize me in the comments below and here's an example we were talking about previously about having your team or your clan split up to two team parts to use the most efficient way to level up your cards to get the most out of the Titan Lord. This is just an example, but go ahead and use it and tweak it for the best you can. So say if you've got the clan of 50, you can have 25 people on team A, 25 people on team team two leveling up just these specific cards that will mean team one will be focused on the head and torso and team two will be focusing on all the other body parts so the arms and legs that way you have a spread of damage at maximum damage and then when the titan lord runs low you can finish it off with both teams smashing out the decks at the bottom which is for half health titan lord and that should finish off completely that would be a, quite an example of sufficient use of cards and sufficient run so try using that with your team and just engaging in different strategies and guides now this last bit is from boulder he has helped me update this guide so thank you very much so here's boulder's range of attack pattern this is quite very useful in clan strategies when a clan might say for example suddenly attack limbs or focus on head torso now this will be the perfect positioning for hitting the right areas of the titan lords to make sure you get the you don't overlap and hit the wrong parts and you get the perfect damage for each one so the wrist and that little circle there will if you hit that area it will hit both target the hand and shoulder if you hit where the chin is shown it would hit both head and torso if you hit where the area shows on the crotch it would target both legs and torso and number four if you hit that area it would hit just hand and leg now you, you want to be using small loops or circles the suggested decks to use for this would be as the cards are shown below so you use either those two variants and then swap out the third one i've done an example um, below in two different seconds so the barrage deck system system you use these three cards and either use the fragments for the armor or the razor wind for the body and then if you go on the right side so and then the deck and right the purifying deck if you want to use the prismatic card for the armor you swap that in and then you swap in the inspiration one force for the body type so these are just examples of decks used for the right specific body parts I hope that's helped you use the right decks to smash those titan laws and if it has helped you please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button i will be releasing more tap titan 2 videos every week i'm also now streaming live every sunday at nine on twitch where you can do tap titan updates q and a's and just ask me any questions thanks again for all the help and support and i'll see you again soon take care bye